This lesson overviews how to perform an Abigilon appearance search query in ACC software. Searches can be done for either people or vehicles and can be accessed within the timeline of recorded video through search types such as motion or bookmark or using physical characteristics of people of interest. After completing this lesson, you will be able to perform an appearance search query. This feature is available in this edition of ACC software. Note that to perform an appearance search, you must be running version 6 or higher of ACC software. Your network video recorder must have the analytics kit installed. To ensure the camera supports appearance search, access the camera setup dialog box by right-clicking on a camera. In the drop-down menu that appears, click the highlighted option. Alternatively, you can access the setup tab through the navigation menu. Click the highlighted button to load the configuration dialog box. If the camera has appearance search capabilities, the highlighted checkbox will appear. Ensure that it's selected. It must be checked for every camera you wish to have the appearance search function. Only enable it on cameras with outdoor or large indoor area location modes. In this demonstration, we will perform an appearance search for a person of interest. To begin, click the highlighted tab to open a new view. Drag your selected camera to an image panel or right click and add it to the view. Alternatively, you can access appearance search options through any of the search options available in the navigation menu. Once you're in a View tab, click the highlighted button to view recorded video. Once you are looking at recorded video for the camera, you have two options for searching for a person of interest. After you have found the person you are looking for, you can find instances of that person across the entire site. If you know the physical description of a person of interest, you can search for them by searching according to their personal characteristics. Characteristics include gender, hair color, and clothing color. To access appearance search options, either select the option from the list of search options in the navigation menu or select it from the highlighted drop-down menu. Note that search results based on the physical characteristics inputted will come from all cameras with the appearance search feature enabled. In the dialog window that appears, you can enter as many or as few characteristics as you want. The system will rank search results that match the characteristics higher. In the Personal Characteristics section, select the person's gender and hair color. To select the next section, click the top of the title bar. In the Clothing section, select color for both the individual's upper body and their lower body from the options provided. You can select multiple clothing and colors. After you've inputted the characteristics, you can set the date range in which to search. Select the start date and time in the highlighted fields. You can set the length of the search range by either selecting a date or setting a duration in the highlighted fields. In the Cameras section, select which cameras to search. By default, all cameras in your site with the appearance search feature enabled are selected. You must select at least one camera to perform a search. When you've input all available information, click the highlighted button to perform the search. An appearance search tab will open and search results matching your criteria will appear first. On the left, the Appearance Description panel contains tags for the selected characteristics. To refine search results, add or remove characteristics. To add a characteristic, expand a category by clicking the title bar and select a characteristic. To remove a descriptor, click the highlighted X in the Characteristic tag. The search results will update automatically when any changes to search characteristics are made. To adjust which search results you are shown, you can slide the time box over clusters of peaks in the search results graph. When you find a correct instance of a person of interest, hover over the search result and click the highlighted star icon. The search results will then display all instances of the selected person over the selected cameras and time range. The search results can be further reviewed and refined based on the events of the security incident. If you know where and when a person or vehicle of interest appeared, you can start an appearance search query by searching recorded video. You can either search for an instance of the person by performing a motion, events, thumbnail, or alarm search, or you can use the timeline to find the reported instance of the person or vehicle you were searching for. When you've found the person or vehicle, left-click the classified object bounding box that appears around the object. In the menu that appears, you have the option of searching different directions in time or specifying advanced criteria to create a timeline of recorded events associated with the person or vehicle. In this demonstration, find appearances after this searches for instances of the person after the selected point. Find appearances before this searches for instances of the person prior to this point. By default, 
Both options will search all of Vigilon cameras that support self-learning analytics connected to the site. Additional search options allows you to refine the search parameters, such as which cameras will be included in the search. In this demonstration, we will first click the highlighted option. The dialog box loads. Here, you refine the search based on the cameras included. This may be useful if you have a large site and only want to search for the person on the cameras in a specific part of your site. You can also adjust the date range and duration of the time range. In this example, we will define the time range once the results have been reviewed. We will now search for appearances before this point in the recorded video. The search tab opens and loads results. You can now review the results to find instances where the person in question appears. Because the Find the Appearances before this option was selected, the time frame ends with the first event. You can adjust the time range at any point, which may be required if you find that the search results within the frame do not yield enough correct appearances. To adjust the frame, slide either of the time range markers to reduce or expand the search area. In the Appearance Search tab, you can order the results by relevance or camera by selecting one of the options in the highlighted area. By default, the search results are sorted by relevance. The thumbnails display in decreasing confidence for each time interval. Ordering results by camera groups the results by camera. Results are displayed in decreasing confidence from left to right for each camera. Search parameters can be refined once the results have been populated. You can click the highlighted button to adjust which cameras in which the appearance search will be performed. You can also modify the description of a person of interest by clicking the highlighted button. Note that any starred search results will be lost if you leave the current screen. To save the results before you refine the personal characteristics of an individual, either bookmark or export the current results. The highlighted graph provides a visual summation of search results that have an appearance similar to the initial search object. Peaks on the graph indicate points in time where at least one object has an appearance highly similar to the search criteria and should be reviewed. Empty areas indicate that either no results are available at this time or that no object is similar to the initial search object. The yellow star identifies the original search object. More stars are added as you refine the search results and include additional reference images. To shift the graph's timeline several days, click one of the highlighted buttons. To expand the range of the results, resize the highlighted frame by dragging its edges in either direction. You can also slide the time box backwards or forwards on its timeline. The boxed area defaults as a 15-minute segment from which search results are displayed. Drag the box over clusters of peaks to view search results from that time. Scroll your mouse wheel or drag either of the ends of the highlighted zoom bar to zoom in or out on the timeline. Note that changing the size or position of the frame on the graph changes the search range on the main timeline below. It will also load more or less results as thumbnails above, depending on the period of time being searched. Slide the highlighted bar to move the focus of the graph range if you wish to view surrounding time. Moving this bar will not affect the time range below. To edit the graph time range, click the highlighted button. Enter a new time range and click the highlighted button to refresh the search results. To hide the search results graph, click the tab to collapse it. In the highlighted settings area, you are shown both a full profile and face profile of the person of interest. These images serve as reference images for your search. You may not see a face profile until you star a result object that also has a face detected by the system. You can also filter the results to only show starred results by checking the highlighted checkbox. To hide the appearance description profiles and description option, click the highlighted button. The search results given may not always show instances of the person you were looking for. For example, the thumbnails could show other people with similar appearances. As a result, manual refinements are required. The results can be viewed in more detail in the image panel. Reviewing the results allows you to determine if each result contains relevant information. Thumbnails can be enlarged or reduced using the highlighted slider. To refine the search results, first select a search result that correctly depicts the individual. We will also select this result. Selecting a result brings up this menu bar. You have the following options with the selected results. Clicking this button allows you to mark the selection as reference images. You can either mark them here in the menu or individually on the thumbnails. Once selected, the results are refreshed with refined search results and the starred clips are marked on the timeline. The search results must be refined by marking the correct results with a star. 
the starred results, are used as additional reference images to generate improved search results. This allows the system to better identify additional matches of the objects you're looking for. Clicking this button allows you to remove the selected results from the search. Note that removing search results does not refine the search. It eliminates the search results from this instance of the search. If the same or similar search is performed again, the removed search results will display again. We will now select these thumbnails as correct instances by starring them in the menu. The results are automatically updated with refined search results. The starred search result is displayed at the top of the list, and its associated clip is marked on the timeline. Repeat this process until all relevant results within the time frame have been selected. To view additional search results, click the highlighted button. Once the results have been refined, you can view the object's sequence of events and save the results. Once a result is starred, you can deselect it by hovering on the result and clicking the highlighted icon. The deselected result will be removed as a reference image and the search results will be updated. A zoom feature is also available for each thumbnail. Double click on the thumbnail or click this icon to zoom in on the individual in the video window. You can play the immediate footage that leads up to the event by selecting either play buttons. You can also speed up or slow down the rate of play by selecting the highlighted buttons. It will often be necessary to investigate the video to confirm whether the result is a correct match. Search results that have been selected can also be bookmarked or exported by clicking the highlighted buttons. If you click the bookmark button, this dialog box appears. Here you can provide a base name and description for the set of bookmarks in the highlighted areas. You can also ensure the bookmark data is protected or that the bookmark is private by checking these checkboxes. Alternatively, you can click the highlighted button to bookmark all start events. If you want to export the starred results as a video story, click the highlighted button. A new export tab is open. By default, the format is set to native. The clips that compose your story are ordered in the highlighted area. You still have the option to change camera, time frame, and duration of each clip. To modify the clip, first select the clip in the list. To adjust the time frame and duration, you have the option of using the counters or sliding the markers in the time range. You can also add or remove included clips as needed. Once the required clips have been refined and edited, you are now ready to export. You have the option of reducing the image rate or file size according to your storage restrictions. You can also export the video with the Avigilon Control Center player to play the native format. Click the highlighted button once you are ready to start exporting the event story. Click here to add a new task. Then, click here. Select the server you want to view the apparent search analytic capacity for. Click the highlighted button. You can decide what cameras you want to include in the highlighted list. This highlighted area displays the total load from each appearance search enabled camera that is added to the system. Refer to this bar to avoid exceeding the system's analytic capacity. In this lesson, you learn how to refine the appearance search results. They can be exported as an event story for sharing and review. Analytic capabilities for cameras with appearance search enabled cameras can also be viewed to ensure that the system is not overloaded.